Hi, I'm Corey from ID Parts, and in this video, I will be replacing the EGT sensor pre turbo on an OM651 Mercedes Benz diesel engine. This sensor most commonly causes the code P2081, which usually translates to exhaust gas temperature, sensor, circuit one, bank one, lots of ones. Uh, a lot of people will replace uh, the first EGT sensor that's post turbocharger, the one that's pre-cat, but this code is most often in our experience caused by the one that is before the turbocharger. Luckily, this one's pretty easy to replace and you can do it yourself probably in under 30 minutes. Let's get going. Remove the engine cover by turning the front thumb screw 90 degrees and then pulling the engine cover towards you. Okay, with the engine cover off, we can see where the air filter is located, which is right here. We're gonna have to remove the air filter and the air filter housing to get to the EGT sensor, which is underneath it. First, we'll start off by removing all the intake plumbing. You also want to remove this gasket here. Buy yourself some extra room. Remove all the screws around the top of the air filter housing, just as if you're replacing the air filter. Once you have the top unscrewed, you can swing it up and out of the way and try to rest it against the hood. The air filter. Now remove the intake elbow that connects to the MAF sensor. Now we can remove the air box bottom. There are two bushings that hold the uh, air filter housing down in the front. You want to pull directly up to release those two. And the ones in the back are actually ones where the air filter slides into. So once you get the front ones out, you can pull it straight out and it'll come out of the car. Now you can easily see the EGT sensor, which is right here. It's one of the easier EGT sensors to replace. Like most EGT sensors, a 17 millimeter flared end wrench is the way to go. There it is. Now just quick side note here about what this EGT sensor does. This is the one that is pre-turbocharger. So exhaust gases come right out of the engine and they go into the turbocharger and they make boost pressure, obviously. So this is the one that sits between the exhaust manifold or the exhaust ports and the turbocharger. And this is where the exhaust gases really get the hottest. This is directly from the engine. So this is a very important sensor. If this sensor is not working, uh, the car won't do regens. It may go into limp mode. It's a really important sensor. And thankfully in this case, it's not too difficult to replace nor is it too expensive. To get to the electrical connector, you'll have to disconnect the coolant pump switchover valve here and remove the cover for the serpentine belt. Just like the air filter housing, this one has two sets of posts that hold it in place. These two, you'll have to pull out from the top, and then for these two, you wanna pull up. If you keep trying to pull out, you'll break these bottom posts. So remember, pull it away and then up. You'll have to remove the wire from a wire clip right there. Now it's time for my favorite game, find where Mercedes hid the connector. In the modern Mercedes diesel engines, Mercedes is doing a really, I mean, it's quite a nice packaging job where things are very neatly stacked together, but getting to stuff gets really hard. This is a perfect example of that. You can find the electrical connector that you need to remove. It comes out this way, so you just wanna push it, just kind of gently, there you go. And wiggle its way out. A little gray tab on it. Push that off. The electrical connector, which we unplugged here, follows behind all this stuff. So you have to remove the switchover valve. You have to remove the uh, vacuum modulator here. You have to pull all these uh, vacuum lines out and out of the way. And only then can you pull the connector all the way out and have it in your hand. So that's the EGR, or sorry, that's the EGT sensor that we're gonna replace. So there it is. That is the uh, pre-turbo EGT sensor.
The torque on the new sensor for installation is 45 Newton meters, which works out to be about 33 foot pounds. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below, or you can send them to me in an email, sales at idparts.com. Please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up if this was useful, and if you click on the alert button, you will be notified about new videos as I make them. Thanks again for watching, take care.